Hi everyone, I'm Morgan and welcome to another unboxing video of On Mars. So, yeah, designed by Vital Lacerda, artwork by Ian O'Toole, and published by Eagle Griffin Games. So, yeah, basically, this is this will be just a, a boring unboxing video um, layered with some of my thoughts. Or Maybe why did I choose buying this key? But before that, let's let's just go to what's behind this box. So yeah, basically, yeah, um, the, the premise is um, yeah, it was year twenty thirty seven when first settlers arrived on Mars, and then decades after. Um, the Mars Base Camp has been established and then um, after that a lot of um, private exploration companies started to work to create or to to make on Mars a very a self-sustaining colony so you play as a as one of the chief astronaut of, of these enterprises so basically you are commanding I think ast astronauts yeah so um yeah i i just have a little uh, knowledge about this game played a couple of playthroughs and uh watched paul grogan's video over and over to to get a a glimpse or maybe uh, at least a, a knowledgeable experience of what on mars is all about so yeah so uh again yeah for sure vital asserted this is he's known uh, to as one of the designers who who designs heavy games as in as in heavy talaga and yeah uh, this is actually the fourth vital lacerda in my collection all right so yeah aside from unboxing maybe probably a, bit, a little bit of history or maybe a story why, why did i choose purchasing on mars why did why, why i get interested actually uh wala to sabadarko <laughs> Um. Uh, I think what that was that was this, was it this year? Yeah, early this year, I was, I I was actually eyeing for Kanban, <laughs> um, because the, uh, the first Vital Lacerda game or, that, or the first game of Vital Lacerda that, that makes me, dive into all of his, designs was Kanban, Kanban. But the first game that I played was the Gallerist. Okay, so yung the gallerist, the gallerist at first, uh, it was introduced to us by one of my friend or co uh, DJ, si DJ Labrado. Um, he he brought his copy, and uh, that time we were we were playing sa role play, uh, Greenfields, and yeah, I was playing with 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 Vinny, and somehow at first play talagang it took us three hours playing the game and then it's uh medyo, um, med medyo hindi ko siya kinaya <laughs> yeah because of the weight of it and yeah uh, maybe it's it's my first heavy game and i'm not used to it and then ano ba nangyari dun? afterwards i think we played it twice yeah the second play was with with my uh yeah co-moderators co-admins at tabletop gateway with i think it was with brian benito and still same same copy ni dj and yeah we played it somehow medyo na gets ko na pero um the the, ex the executive action part was really very uh, as in nakakalito siya it's it 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 confuses the flow of the game parang hindi naging smooth yung experience and then uh, one day uh, we decided to to schedule a game in uh, at chat times so my pioneer yeah and then yeah um still the same i think it's just me benito and dj the same guy dj he siya talaga yung nag-introduce sa amin ng mga beta laser he has he he had a copy of can um get the gallerist and then bin dinala niya yung copy niya ng kanban it was the strong the first version ng stronghold games and after a while we played it like two hours 
yeah though the components was not was far was not that uh, fine <laughs> like eagle griffin somehow na appreciate ko yung game so it's it's like a certain get single worker placement so like okay naman pala si Vital and then later that day after that game we played um, Vinyos the 2016 version which was introduced naman by Benito and then actually that day we, we it took us the whole afternoon from like from I think it's an hour 1pm 1, 1 until 5 or 6pm something like that and played two games of Vital Lacerda including na doon yung teaching so yeah after that ayun um that's that's the time that okay um let's let's maybe let's let's give this Vital Lacerda games another try because on the early the years of couple of years or early or the first years of my in my hobby I said to myself ah medyo siguro pang medium weight Euro lang siguro um, uh, Stefan Feld which is because I was a Stefan Feld fan during that time um, at, again so ayun now it's sabi ko nga it's like what I've said a while ago it's my fourth fourth game so I have um, Gallerist <laughs> I have Venus and Lisboa uh, the, my favorite so far, by far is Lisboa which was uh, yeah, things, special things to Franco um he he taught me the game and um, galing galing na pagkakaturo niya it's very clear and um ayun uh, really like the games that much and ayun after Lisboa bumili rin ako ng Vinyos and then I just eventually bumili rin ako ng Galleries and then I, I tin, tintrayin namin ng wife ko tintrayin namin with, with my niece so ayun nagust, somehow we decided na nagustuhan nila we decided to keep it in the, in the collection so ayun so it took me to place of the galleries to appreciate it and yeah just recently <laughs> i actually purchased this one well this will not be part of the unboxing though but anyway so yeah so now i have on mars this is actually outside my radar i was about to to purchase yung kanban ev so yeah because um uh, it's the first Vital Lacerda game that I really appreciated. So, shout out kay Mark Shan Padua. Yeah, or also known as Bayong of Holding. So, he was the one who who um, facilitated yung mga local backing for Kickstarter games. And yeah, he, he gave me a good arrangement on, on, on um, getting Kanban and sinama ko na si Rako ako. <laughs> and, ayun, suddenly, inalok nyo lang sa akin, bro, uh, how about On Mars? Di ka kukuha. Sabi ko, On Mars? Sabi, another, another bit, lala sir, da, parang meron na, tatlo na yung sa akin. Eh. Tapos, Kanban pang apat. So, ayun. Although, although yung Kanban kasi, it's it's still on the ways. Kaya, ito pa yung fourth. Kung dumating yung Kanban, it will be the fifth. So, yeah. Give it a try. It's okay. Bit, lala sir, da naman yan. Eagle Griffin. It was actually a blind buy, to be honest. <laughs> And blind by siya. So, hindi ko alam kung how it plays. Is it really good? Uh, pero, ayun. After, after after watching playthroughs, after somehow getting a, uh, a, 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 a grasp of how it plays, okay naman dyan. As in, ayun, I, I think, I believe it's something that I will like. Hope, hopefully, hopefully. We'll see. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, that's it. That's That's the history why I why I purchased on Mars. This is actually a Kickstarter version. Well, um, I can't say it's a Kickstarter version because well, so bad. There are other games that are um, exclusively specified as Kickstarter. But the good thing ab about Evil Griffin that I really like is it's. I think I nabasa ko yun one in in one of their. I think it's it's one of their Kickstarter pages that they don't believe in. I'm not sure if it is Eagle Griffin or Orange Nebula, but these are the two the two companies that I really adore. Na okay to, they don't believe in Kickstarter exclusives. Na they wanted if if there will be an exclusive, sure they, we will make it available for sale soon, but it it might cost a little bit. Pero there's no such thing as alam mo yan, na, na, Ah, itong component na to kung hindi mo binak yung Kickstarter hindi mo na Like like uh, games like Blood Rage 
etc. So, yan, di ba? So, yung mga exclusives niya. So, hindi talagang you cannot buy it at retail. Maybe may pros and cons about that. But anyway, so, yo, yeah. Yun yung gusto ko sa Eagle Griffin. So, I think upon reviewing the Kickstarter page, um, the contents of this will be the same with the retail. The difference with the Kickstarter pack is this one. So, they have this upgrade pack. Which I believe you could... You could purchase in the future. All right. So, yeah. Let's start with this, and then let's open this later. All right. So, on Mars. So yeah. Okay. Do you dare take part in humanity's greatest challenge? So yeah. So I think it was last year or this year. Parang lahat ng board games tungkol sa Mars. Yeah, it's it started with I, I, when I when I joined the hobby. Ang lagi ko nakikita is puro Cthulhu. And then parang may year na dumating puro on ano puro Mars, ah, puro zombies pala. Tapos puro Mars. Um, tapos recently parang napansin ko puro underwater. <laughs> Ngayon, ayaw ko ano na yung theme ngayon. Medyo, I'm not, hindi na ako masyadong updated. <laughs> hindi ko na naabutan yung part na puro trains. Meron, uh, uh, a, a veteran gamer told me na there was a time na puro trains daw yung lumalabas. So yeah, okay. Let's open the box. So yeah, um, if, if, this is your first time buying Eagle Griffin games. You'll notice that uh, yung box nila talagang sobrang kapal. As in, as in, ano, talagang very top-notch yung quality. Uh, it's one of, that's why it, it made me one of the publishers that I, I really like or one of my favorite publishers because they really put quality in, in their components. Okay. Kaya, ayun. Well, um, and with with the yung price tag nila somehow okay let's say nasa high upper mid range pero top notch naman yung quality din. so yeah okay so yeah this is one of the game na hindi ko pa natatry ni Vitala sir somehow medyo um i kind of don't like the theme the theme but you see sabi uh, a lot of reviewers says that um, ito daw yung pinaka simple or if you are to start a beta laser the game go to escape plan all right so yeah eagle griffin games yeah one of my favorite publishers watch out to the further um sa games nila sobrang ganda ng quality quality wise eh. all right so this is the reference book so yeah um uh, one of one of the things then uh um, gusto ko how how they design this is yeah rule books reference book are are always separate kasi the rule book you don't always need it naman once you know the game how the game plays alam ano dun siya reference ito yung madalas mong nakakalimutan eh. no like last night we just played Vinyos so I I was always holding on the reference guide so yeah very very fine quality paper and it's it's kind of glossy though yeah so nandito lahat ng blueprints nandito lahat ng what does the research tile says the scientist cards with the, the things the people that you could hire the tech tiles ito ang galing ang galing nito ang galing as in uh, one of the games uh, one of the things then that I like um, uh, uh, I like I really like about about Vita Lazarus designs are yeah, uh, mainly it's a Euro game, but there is a rich, a very, I, I would say it's a very rich theme. Like the mechanics um, really make sense. Um, that it, it really makes you, um, when you play his games, it's uh, as in, like, like in Kanban, you are, you are like, um, you are working in a car manufacturing company. So how how you do things? It's it's like you you are there, sa galleries then. Although galleries hindi ko alam, hindi ko masadong um, 
hindi ako knowledgeable on the part of the artist side like you are having artist um um ano yung term na yon <laughs> and you get their signature and then um they'll promise you to sell one one art uh with with the in, in the introductory price regardless kung sumikat na siya or hindi something like that so so yeah the um um pero uh the one of one of the things is yung sa Lisboa um ang ang ganda ng ng paggawa doon kasi it's it it really tells about the history of of Lisboa or of Lisbon sorry where where yun yung hometown ni Vital Anyway, so uh, bear with me. Dami ko sinabi, but this is just actually a simply simple unboxing video, just to help you guys. Um, probably maybe um, decide if you you guys want to get on Mars. Um, if you are like a mid medium weight gamer, going to a heavy, I I really recommend trying with Alasarda games. Baka magbag it, it changed my perspective. Uh, baka baguhin din yung perspective niya. Well, well that's that's preference though. Uh, that's that's me. So, rule book. It's it's 24 page. 24 page rule book. Um the game basically uh technically 21 page lang siya. Oh, well, 20. So, because the the remaining pages are for the solo game. Two player variant first color yeah and then yeah, every time naman, just watch Paul Grogan's gaming rules. Yeah, and kaya maganda rin yung rulebook because part of the team who, who writes these rules is, uh, I think it's Paul Grogan. So, he's known to be one of one of the, the best um, uh, rulebook writers. I, I'm not, I'm really not sure one of the, actually, siya lang alam ko. Um, yeah. But if you'll notice, if he reviews games, he also mentions the rulebook part. Siya lang yung rev game reviewer online na nakikita ko pati yung yung details of the rulebook, how the rulebook was was written. Um talagang mina-mention niya yun sa libro, sa sa reviews niya. All right. Or how if it is ex it's excellent or you know. So yeah. So that's the rule. Okay. First things first, this is the board. Okay. I'm not sure kung kasha sa sa table ko, but I hope it okay. Okay, so kasi nilaki lang din ng board ng Venus. Okay, this is the back of the board. So yeah, it has Vital Laser design in it. And the art no Mars. And okay. Again, please, please bear with me. I really haven't um, read the rule book nor, nor played the game yet. Though familiar lang ako. So, yeah. So, this is this is actually... Ah, it's, it's... It's upside down. So, yeah, I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> See? Matamaan yung TV. Alright, so... Okay, so this is the whole board kasi naman siya sa table hindi lang kaya ng ng scope ng camera ng phone all right so uh, by the way i'm just i'm just shooting this via iphone so um walang edit edit to this is perfectly raw if if may masasuggest kayo any tips on how to make videos contents Yes, let, let me know. It will it will help. So yeah, um, to yung board. So be, it, at its at its heart, the game is a worker placement game where, ayun nga, you are at, you're the chief astronauts. So you're commanding other astronauts going to, I think the orbit. This is the orbit side, and I think this is what you call the colony side. All right, so. Orbit side is where you get um, resources. So, itong side na, sa left side ng board. So, ito. These are basically worker placement spaces. Itong mga circles na to. And this is what what they do. So, yeah, basically, this is where you get resources. 
and this is where you build the surface of Mars. Actually, okay, um, uh, ito, itong part na to, uh, what you are doing, ah, uh, ayan, um, what, what you are doing somehow uh, relates to this, to this square, grid, or itong, itong, itong square na to nasa the middle of the board, where, uh, this is the part where you are now placing your tiles. So yeah, worker placement slash tile placement slash I think slash hand management. So yeah, you know you Vitala sort of fans, you know what I mean when okay, with simply worker placement lang big lang iba yung nangyayari. So ganun. So yun. Um yeah. What else? Yeah, the board looks good. Actually, itong part lang na to, kung makikita mo, it, ito lang siya sa buong Mars. <laughs> so, you are just basically colonizing this this little, this small part of the planet. Alright. Does this have something to do with terraforming Mars? No, I don't think so. Yeah, so... Somehow, similar siguro in theme because you are trying to make Mars inhabitable, but... Um, really not sure. <laughs> Actually, it it that that thought also slipped my mind. Okay. So if I have terraforming Mars, do I need to buy this? Well, most probably. Yeah, I personally would. Sorry for that. Would recommend it. Okay, this is where you place the different the five different resources. Okay, ano to eh? It's a, actually itong resources na to. It's a it it has a an tawag dito may 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 theme to it um it's what they call it's a it's a, some sort of a cycle na okay that what that part of what you're doing in the game i just can't find it pero yeah it if you if you watch how to play videos um it will explain very clearly what how they are related like um i think these are minerals okay so you have to hire um astronauts or workers to 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 do mineral mining or to mine more minerals and then you need minerals to 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 gain power or batteries and with power you could gather water and with water water you could gather oxygen and with oxygen you could um you could hire more colonists kasi nga it's inhabitable na. So, something like that. It's a cycle. It's a, um, ang basang galing. Uh, ako natuwa din ako dito. How, how those, um, resources relate to each other. So, yeah. So, okay. Wow. Play, play, play your aid. Wow, this is new. So, this, I think these are the player aids. Yeah, and nasabi kong this is new kasi ano siya eh, it's, it's cardboard. Hindi siya yung normal, it's not, it's not the normal paper that, that you see, or the soft one. So it's card, it's, it's cardboard, and it's, and it's thick. So yeah. So player aids, so this, this is the, uh, or travel phase. Okay, orbit to colony. So, ito yung sa left side, I think. Orbit and then colony to orbit. Alright. So, these are the 10 worker placement spaces. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so this is... This is another board for for the cards. Okay, I'm really not sure. But I think uh, you have to you place it uh, sideways sa board. So yeah, and yeah. Next one is okay. We have three, three layers of punch boards. So yeah, um, Eagle Griffin quality very thick punch boards. Uh, let's do a punch test. Yeah, very thick. Saka sobrang Sobrang dali din niya i-punch. Unlike other punch boards na makikita mo on 
on other games minsan you can even punch it on on the front uh, for safety i usually punch stuff sa likod behind kasi minsan if you punch them from the uh, at the front na may naii tawag dito nag nagtitear nagtitear yung yung design but again yeah so very easy to punch so even that punching is 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 it's just a breeze and it's so smooth so yeah that's eagle griffin for you so yeah these are basically the details or um i think i think these are the some sort of like the factory or the, the buildings that generates that allows you to generate resources like this generates plants this generates Antung gray i forgot minerals okay water so yeah it's related to the five to the five resources that i show I, i've shown you one in. so this one all right so yeah these are the same okay um all right i forgot what these are yeah pero yeah probably these are resources these are like some bonus styles i think the circle ones are the one you put on the map where your rover picks up and then when when you do you get some certain bonus i'm not sure if this is to buy on right now so yeah all right now it's the most exciting eh. all right so they put something here i'm not sure if okay, do you still need this okay let's keep that for now it, it acts like a support for for the player boards all right so four players so we have player boards and okay grabe grabe yung kapal nito okay this is these boards are recessed so if as if you can as you can see there so this is where you place your i think this is where this is where the the astronauts are astronauts are being pla placed and then you have to unlock them this is where your starting astronauts are so ito yung parang colony mo okay um this is some sort of a track that you it's it's some sort of a technology track so it, it starts from here so so like uh what you what you wanted to unlock so um that if you start here so you could only go to adjacent uh locations or adjacent spaces and then whatever is depicted you get that bonus some sort of some, some something like that okay this is where your uh, rockets yung rocket ships okay are be are, are being placed okay the good thing about this board is it's it's so very thick that um it, it i don't know hindi siya nag bend okay somehow uh, there is a game that is a recess pero nung nakita ko siya sobrang nag naka bend siyang ganun because the thing is uh, parang manipis kasi yung yung nasa ilalim but in this yeah and ito it's it's very nice it's very um, parang linis ng paggawa okay so there you there you have it your your player boards all right so eagle eagle one of one of the things that i i really love i really like on, on with, with eagle griffin is it always of course it always comes with with the insert and so i don't have to um think of or i don't have to mind buying inserts because it 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 holds every everything that you need okay ec what's this escape land replacement cards seriously this is on mars back at my escape plan replacement card solo deck ah you ano to propaganda to 
Yeah, just just kidding. It just makes me think of buying escape plan. Wala sa radar ang escape plan, guys. Pero but merong ganyan. But anyway, it's it's a good thing that they have this. Pero I hope yeah, for escape plan fans, so there's a solo deck here in inside. A mistake? Maybe? Not sure. I'm not sure. I have to review the Kickstarter page. So, yeah. Going back, so basically these are... Oh, these are the wooden components. So... So this is your rover that goes on the middle of the board. Okay. So, yung rover specifies on what area on what or, or on what area on the board you can only build so you can only build on it's a adjacent hexes hmm. i'm not sure but yeah it works like that okay so all of most of them all of them are laser printed so if you could see that yeah, it has their, yeah, may, may mga nakaprint na design. So, this is, I'm not sure what this is. Saan na nga to? <laughs> Alright, forgot. Okay. So, yeah. So, one of each color. So, you have one for red, one for blue, one green. And, yeah. We, after this, I'm going to inspect, hoping that uh, there will be no no missing parts or maybe defects. Okay, these are crystals. Or, yeah, crystals. What are crystals for again? I forgot. Sorry, guys. I can't give you detailed um, description of what these are. Okay, I, for I forgot now. So I have to learn playing this game so that we could bring it bring it to the table now. and para mahusgan <laughs> kung it will, will it will it stay or will it go okay so after the player these are the building building components or I, I should say building markers where players place this on top of each tiles to, to determine that you own that kind of building yeah so yeah again it's awesome that they are laser printed okay so yeah player, player pieces crystals the buildings okay so we have this i think these are extras Bakit hindi siya kasama dito? i'm not sure but yeah I, no i don't think yeah yeah probably these are extras this is also what i want on uh, what i appreciate when you have a eagle griffon game I'm not sure if, it, if they're all of them. Um, both my Lisboa and Venus, and it's galleries as well. Mayroon silang extra components, just in case may mawala. You don't have to request. So these are your astronauts that you are about to hire, that you're going to hire. And yeah, they, they are basically your workers. Okay, I remember this one. This is okay. One one of the technology tech track on the board that determines your identity. No, stop talking more than if you're not sure. <laughs> didn't didn't ako sure pero yeah, just familiar. Not not sure of them. Okay, so yeah, ito yung sa orbit. So most of them are wooden. All of them, I see, are wooden. These are your scientists. And yeah, very, very great components. Okay. 
So yeah, that's it. So I think per this this is for per player. And this one. Okay, this is where you put those I think this this one so yeah something like that it's it it's a tray for for these um, tiles all right cards let's start with the big one first so there are different size of sizes of cards Meron square I'm not sure if I'm going to sleeve them. Again, I I'm, I I used to be a sleever. Pero since pero let's see. Okay, so this is for the solo. All right. We have private shift, moisture vaporator, biomarket, hydrophonic farm. I think these are building building cards. Better be um, very sure. But um yeah, you see they're they're in good quality. Yeah and it does not stick so somehow a little bit matte may feel may mat feel no content but yeah these are these are very good cards good quality cards okay i think these are your scientists Let's open them up Have your biochemist. Di ko makita. All right, hydrologist, geochemist, systems engineer. So yeah, these are your different scientists. I think these are somehow. Ah, uh, forgot. So this is these are victory points, eh? parang achievement cards, something like that. Yeah good quality cards then I think it goes here I'm not sure kung kasha siya kung sleeved yeah this one I think if you have like some sort of like mayday or I haven't tried yung like mga recent sleeves like sleeve kings um, sultan yeah I may FFG boy kasi ako eh. so well oh well I think FFG will be taken over by another company so under the box so basically yun na yun that's it so, yeah. yeah the trees look good yeah ay pag-aaralan ko pa kung spam ko ilalagay sila dyan <laughs> Not sure if it is written in, in one of the pages here. I'm not sure. So okay, so so I think that's all for the base game. And now let's let's check out what's inside this upgrade. But basically, mostly cards. I think right? there's a beacon card. This is. Uh, ano to eh? mga I I, 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 these are from the stretch goals no Kickstarter. So if you're going to visit the Kickstarter page for, for on Mars, there are some goals that are Kickstarter exclusive. Like adding more more of these, more of that. Pero even without this, I, I'm sure you could, you, you could still enjoy the game. Sorry, I have to grab my scissors. 
Hirap niyang buksan. Ah. So, ayun. So, I usually play with my wife. So, ayun. And it's a good thing then that uh, Vitala Serda games uh, scale very well on, on different player counts. I had that experience with Lesboa. So, we played it like two player, three player, four player. And yeah, and na yung per player. The more, the more player, the more it gets longer. Pero, uh, for me, I, I haven't found any reason or any... What do you call that? Issues that you could say na it's not, it's not balanced when it's in this player count and stuff. So yeah, hopefully, after this pandemic ends, I could introduce this to friends. So yeah, these are the upgrade pack rules. So my mini private goes the blueprint board. So okay, so they just created this board to hold these cards. Um, LSS. Okay. New earth contracts. So new contracts new mini ito no private mini goals expansion so basically these are kickstart exclusives and without these i think you could still you could still enjoy the game at its max and like what i've said in earlier uh, the good the good thing i like in about about evil eagle griffon is this were never um really that exclusive yeah. um they always offer this as retail uh, for for sale in at their site for for everyone so yeah. even if you get the game for retail yeah you could just buy the upgrade back in the future if you if you really like the game and or if you really love the game and for you it's it's a really a keeper and you wanted to upgrade the components yeah so just just buy the upgrade pack and yeah there you have it that's basically on mars now time to time to dig into the rule book later so yeah um i hope this has been helpful to you guys especially when you are curious what's inside the box uh, yeah somehow then i hope you if, if you you, if you, you, you my, the thoughts that the things i shared would, would somehow help you to be more open to these games um yeah very component wise very uh, the very daunting young game pero once you once you like give it a try and maybe get used to it you, you'll realize na eh, it's really not that daunting no. and yeah that's that's it that's on mars and thank you for your time and see you guys next time bye